What's up guys, Mr. Bazy here, and today we're going to be doing a small mini Q&A that has absolutely nothing to do with the Q&A that I already have set up, and I know I set this up at a little bit of a weird time, but um, uh, I, I thought this would be a good little uh, teaser trailer for the, 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 the questions that I'll be answering in about a week and a half to two weeks time, and um, there are actually some really good questions that haven't actually been asked by you guys yet. Uh, these questions are actually are part of a, I think it's a tagging run or what it, I really don't know what it's called I apologize but uh, I've been tagged by Mr. Meerkat who uh, some of you may or may not know he shows up a lot in my live streams uh, he was in the chat for a time and then very recently we actually streamed some Minecraft together he showed me the ropes a little bit and we had a really nice adventure my very first uh, Minecraft adventure so to speak uh, he definitely you know showed me the ropes and we had a, we had a blast man so he, he's definitely a really great YouTuber really good person he's a really nice person um, and I highly recommend you check him out uh, you can do so I'll leave his link in the description his name his you know YouTube name will also be on the video right here you can click on that if you so desire the very first one is gonna be what year were you born and I was born in 1994 so if you do a little math kajiggery in the background there you'll realize that I'm 21 years of age number two is what was your first swear or cuss word and I really gotta admit there's a few th there's a few questions here that I do not remember like I just I don't remember that far back First swear, cu curse, or, cu uh, or, you know, cuss word, or whatever it may be, was probably either ass, bitch, or the F word, you know what I'm saying? Um, because I really don't, uh, remember, it's definitely one of those, because those are words that I say a lot when I, you know, get scared, when I get angry, or when I'm really, really happy or surprised. Um, those are really the only exceptions to when I, like, curse, like, you'll notice that I don't curse when I'm just talking to you guys, or when I'm playing Adventure Catalyst, unless something really exciting, or, you know, exciting as in happy, you know, I'm really happy about something, uh, unless something like that happens, or I'm really surprised about something, uh, you know, obviously being scared or angry, very reasonable times to curse, you know what I mean, you're not really thinking about it, you're just, it's just kind of adrenaline pumping. Um, and so, you know, those are really the only times you're going to hear me curse, but in terms of my first one, I really can't pinpoint that and say for sure. Uh, number three is going to be my favorite TV show growing up. Now, this is without a doubt, Courage the Cowardly Dog. I love that show. Uh, Invader Zim is probably a close second. Uh, that was like a a morning thing for me personally, like I would watch that in the morning before I went to school, so I never actually watched it in succession, but I still liked it, but uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog, I've seen all the episodes, I, you know, I really, really liked that show as a kid, and even, even now, I, I still love Courage, like, he's, it's freaking awesome, uh, I'm personally someone who likes animes a bit more than reality shows, not reality television, just shows that are filmed in reality, um, but I still will watch them, you know, I watch things like Supernatural, and Sons of Anarchy, and Breaking Bad, all that stuff, I've watched all those shows, and, but, uh, you know, if you give me a selection of shows, um, and anime is part of that, I will, I will look at the animes first before I check out the real ones, unless they look really good, but for the most part, I like animes a bit better, and, and cartoons and all that stuff. Um, so number four is, what advice would you give to your younger self? And as corny as this is going to sound, I would definitely say, follow your dreams, you know, follow what your heart tells you, and, and be happy with your choice, because, um, if I had the, the, you know, the precognition to, know how this feels and, 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 you know, see how, I, how happy I am today. Um, I would definitely tell my younger self to really try to consider a different, you know, path of life. Cause I think as, as a younger, you know, adult and, 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 you know, going through school as well as going through college, you know, I was kind of just following the life preset of everybody. And I'm not saying that school isn't important or that you don't need school. Cause you know, for the majority of, of people, you definitely do. It's something that's necessary without a doubt. But, um, you know, and, and there's no way I would have known this growing up, but you know, it, I, I was, the way I view it now is I was following the life preset of pretty much everybody out there. You know, you go to school, go to college, get a job, do all that stuff. And, you know, I, I feel like there's other ways sometimes for you to succeed in life. And I, I wish I had had the precognition to, you know, you know, uh, see how happy I would be today because life success for me is happiness. That's that's how I view success in life is happiness. Some people view it differently. Some people value money and all that stuff. But for me, as long as I'm happy, that's what I care about. So I, I would definitely tell my younger self to follow, you know, follow your heart. I put yeah, I put a firm hand on the on the young sage and be like, you know, you got to follow your heart, my dude. You can't you can't just you know you know go go by this preset that has been set for pretty much everybody. And for most people, that preset works. But for me. Um, I think, I think there, there's a slightly different way. And, and for those of you that don't know, by the way, I did go to college. I did graduate. And 
do have a degree in criminal justice, so you know, I have the full ability to do that stuff. Um, but it, I, whether it was a mistake or not, I got into YouTube right as I finished college and I loved it. <laughs> so I really, really, you know, developed this burning passion for it. And, um, yeah, the rest is kind of history, but uh, either way, um, number five is describe your clothing style. My clothing style, without a doubt, is simple. That's definitely the best way I could describe it. I don't like dressing up. I don't like buying expensive clothes. I don't like wearing expensive clothes. I just like matching. That's the only thing I like, I, and sometimes I don't even do that. Um, I do. I just like simple stuff. I wear a lot of plain shirts, you know, whether depending, no matter what color they are, like red, blue, green, um, you know, orange, whatever it may be. I just wear a lot of plain stuff. I don't have a lot of designy stuff. Um, and, uh, one of my favorite colors is black just for, just simply for ease. You know what I mean? Not, not really because I really enjoy the color black. My favorite color, um, it's probably blue or red, but, um, or, or green, obviously, but uh, you know, one of those, but you know, black is just nice because it goes with everything. It matches with everything. You don't really have to worry too much. You don't have to think too much, which is fantastic because I don't like really thinking about what I'm going to wear. I just feel like that's really weird for me. I don't know. It's just weird for me. Um, and also, you know, of course, for recording, it's really, really convenient because black doesn't really clash with anything. It doesn't really clash with whites or, 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 or saturations or anything like that. So, you know, for when I'm recording, especially with the green screen, it's just the most convenient. So you may see me with a black shirt on a lot and you may be saying, you're wearing the same black shirt, Mr. Basie, what the frick? But no, it's, it's not that case. I have many <laughs> plain black shirts, just a lot of plain black shirts as well as some other ones. And you'll see me wear them occasionally, but, um, you know, black is definitely the go-to for recording, at least for me. So anyway, moving on from that is going to be what was your favorite toy growing up? And I got to be honest, guys, I have been a gamer since the beginning. I mean, I mean, um, you know, I played on the I don't even remember what it was. It was some old PC that uh, it was really old. I mean, we're talking the 19 like late late 1990s, like 1998, 99. Uh, you know, I remember playing Tomb Raider on that thing, dude, and then, uh, yeah, I, I remember playing on the PS2 and all that stuff, so I've been a gamer since the very beginning, and if it's gonna be a toy, it's probably building blocks or something like that, building blocks, like big Legos, like the big Legos, not the small ones, um, or Lincoln Logs or something like that, because I've always been a gamer, I remember from a very young age, I got, um, a Game Boy Color for Christmas with Pokemon Blue, and that's all I played. Like that was, I just grinded the shit out of that game. It was, it was, it was really fun. So I've been a gamer from the very beginning and I know it's not technically a toy, but, um, you know, my favorite toy growing up was probably my, my, my handheld video games. So Game Boys and all that stuff. Um, what was your most embarrassing moment? Now this one is pretty interesting because sometimes this pops into my head and I'm like, you know, why didn't I not forget about this yet? Because this is really a very strange story. So buckle up for this one. Um, basically it was fourth grade. I remember very vividly fourth grade. Um, he was a history teacher. Okay. And we were doing a test that day or some sort of assessment, something where we were all being quiet, doing something. Okay. That's all I remember in terms of that. Uh, and I finished a bit early. Now I was feeling a bit antsy, a little bit, uh, you know, I was feeling energetic. I did not want to sit there for another like 15 minutes or whatever it was that this test was actually happening. And so, you know, I was messing around with my pencil, doing the little pencil flip thing through the, um, not that I can do it well, but, you know, the pencil flip thing through the fingers, you know, the, the pencil tricks. And my pencil accidentally fell off my desk and I went to reach for it and I could not reach it normally. So, you know, yeah, I had to kind of lean really far out of the chair and I got this really weird idea that it would be funny because my friend was sitting right next to me, that it would be really funny to try and pretend like I had a hard time reaching this pencil. So I essentially planked, if you guys know what that means, you know, it kind of like I laid all my stomach on the chair, on the little desk chair. And, you know, I was, I was pretending like I was having a really difficult time to get my pencil. My friend, of course, is giggling a little bit and, um, you know, kind of looking at me and giggling every once in a while that he turned his head. Now, you know, I'm doing this for a long time, like five minutes or something like that, five minutes straight. I was, I don't know what I was doing. I was having a blast, but Basically, you know, at, at a certain point, he started looking down at me, then like very, very quickly glancing up and then looking away. You know what I'm saying? But he was still giggling. And so, uh, you know, I, I'm doing this for a bit. And then I, there was one moment where I, I kind of swing my head under the chair. And as I kind of do that, my eyes just barely see these two, like, they're not nice shoes, but they're like black, you know, polished shoes. And I'm like, 
the frick? You know, like that's all I saw is those shoes. I saw the tips of them. And so I get up and turn around and my teacher's just standing there with his, his hands on his hips, like kind of like fists. He had them on his hips. And he was just looking at me with the most disappointed face. Like I didn't really like, I, I can't really describe the, the, the feeling of it. Like I wasn't really embarrassed. I was just like, I thought I was going to get in trouble. I didn't get in any trouble, but it was really weird. It was like, it was embarrassing. Nobody else saw it. It was just me and the principal it was like, you know, we just had that kind of eye contact. Like what, what the fuck is this? You know what I mean? Like that was exactly what it was. And so that was probably my most embarrassing moment. I, I remember that all the time. I'm sure there's other moments that were embarrassing that I could think of, but that is one that pops up in my mind and I'm just like, please just forget about this because I don't want to think about it. You know, it's, it's one of those moments. So moving on from this is going to be my favorite console growing up. Um, without a doubt, this is uh, Xbox 360. I've, I've had so many memories. I've met so many people. Um, I've, you know, I've, I've had so many great friends that I've met online that are just, you know, some, there, some of them are just as good as real life friends. I mean, it's, I gotta be honest, like it, personality is what really matters in life and you don't have to meet somebody for that. You can learn about them probably more accurately too over the internet because, you know, people, people in real life, they, they tend to be a bit, you know, kind of. Uh, slightly secluded, even if they're really outgoing people, they won't tell you everything about themselves, but people that you meet through the internet kind of will, and, and this is probably because of that bravery that, that the screen gives you because you're not physically there, but you know, they, they're more real, you know what I mean? They're more, they're more of a real person. So some of the best people I've ever met in my life have been over the internet. And I think that's pretty awesome. Um, but you know, hundred percent, you know, I learned to love Halo. Um, from the Xbox 360. I've learned uh, to love Call of Duty. I've learned to love Gears of War. All these games that I've played in the future. And so Xbox 360, without a doubt, was my favorite console growing up. Uh, number 11 is going to be Rain or Shine. Uh, and I got to say neither. Honestly, I really like cold weather. I know I'm weird. I like I like warm weather too. Don't don't think I'm just like, oh, I don't like the beach or I don't like tropical areas. Now, nah, I, I like them too, but... I don't know, like, cold weather is nice, you know, especially when it snows. The only bad thing about snow is, is driving in it. That, that, that kind of sucks, I gotta admit, but I like the way snow looks. I like the cold, refreshing air, and for me, cold air is refreshing, especially when it's, like, really, really, really cold. When I take a breath of fresh air in, it feels crisp, it feels nice, it feels fresh, you know what I mean? And that's what I like about, you know, cold weather. I, I also like that, um, you know, I've always had this theory that it's always easier to stay warm than it is to stay cold. And so, you know, for me, I like that cold weather, it's very simple. If you're cold, you just put more layers on. It's very simple. If you're, if you're, if you're hot, you can only take off so many layers. I mean, you know what I mean? It's, it's going to start getting gross if you keep going further, you know what I'm saying? But that's what, that's basically how I view it. And I love cold weather. It's, it's really, really nice. Whenever winter comes along and, and the cold months like October and all that stuff, it's, it's the best. It's the best time of year, man. Not to mention all these awesome games are coming out, but it's freaking cold out. And I love that. So, um, you know, that's, that's basically how I view that rain or shine. No cold. That's how I like it. But all right. So the next question is going to be my two favorite hobbies. And for the sake of diversity, I'm going to leave YouTube out of this because even though I do take it very seriously and I have a, a, a burning passion for YouTube, like I spoke of before, at this point in time, it can be classified as a hobby, even though I'd rather not think of it that way because I love doing it so much. But um, the very first hobby that I that is definitely my favorite is gaming, because despite how far people can go with gaming in terms of you know, uh, making money as a professional gamer or making money as an, uh, an entertainer on, on YouTube or Twitch or, 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 or maybe a developer or a game tester or whatever it may be. You can do a lot with gaming. There's a lot of avenues that you could really, um, you know, succeed in life, um, you know, from a monetary perspective. But, um, you know, I think at the very core of it all, is that games are just freaking fun. You know what I mean? People will play them even if there was no money involved. Many people do all the time, you know, day, day in and day out. Um, I did, you know what I mean? I, I was playing games before I knew what competitive gaming was, before YouTube was even a thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, before, of course, Twitch was even a thing. Um, and I, again, I didn't know what competitive gaming was at this time. There weren't montages out and all that stuff. So I didn't even have the, ins it's not like I had inspiration to play to succeed in life or to, to gain some sort of monetary value from my gaming sessions. I just love doing it. I love playing it. I love the adventures it took me on. And that's probably why gaming without a doubt is my favorite hobby. Cause there's so many different things, so many different genres and ways to experience a gaming session. It, that, I think that's pretty darn cool. Um, my other favorite hobby, and I know this really shouldn't be classified as a hobby, but it's definitely... Uh, you know, spending time with friends and family because, uh, and I guess you could say hanging out cause that's kind of a hobby, but you know, uh, spending time with friends and family, specifically family, because you know, you never know what life's going to throw at you. And I really try to cherish 
every moment that I have with my family because, you know, it, it, it's important. You know, I mean, family's really important to me and I, I really cherish every moment that I have with them. And, you know, it gets to the point where it can be kind of annoying sometimes for other people. You know, I, I really try to uh, spend that much time with people whenever I really can, you know, whenever I can because of how busy I am. And so, you know, I try to do that as much as possible. You know, I try to, you know, every once in a while, you know, my, my brother's just playing games and I, you know, more than likely I should be sitting there recording something or editing something, but I'll stop by in his room and sit there and talk with him and be like, you know, what's up? You know, just, just chill with him for a bit. Cause that's important to me. You know what I mean? Um, you know, just kind of racking up those, those hours because you know, again, you never know. Um, but, uh, you know, and, and, and you know, he's, he's, he's a busy, busy kid too. You know, he's in, he's in school and everything. He does karate. He's really good at it. And so he's very, very involved in that. I mean, he's a, he's a real, uh, he's really, he's really good. I can't even put it into words how good this kid is at karate. He's, he's amazing. But, um, you know, basically, you know, he's really, he's real busy. So I'm always asking him like pretty much every day. I'm like, Hey, you want to record Halo today? You know, or, you know, the Halo series that you guys have been watching. I'm like, Hey, you want to record some Halo 4 today? You know, he's, he's always like, eh, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I got schoolwork and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, that's perfectly understandable. Like he's got to do that and stuff. But, you know, at the same time, like I, I, I like spending time with him. I like doing that. And even if it's through a video game, that's still important to me. And uh, I know that, you know, Halo 5 is coming up 20 more days and Halo 5 is coming out, guys. Pretty awesome. But, um, you know, basically with, with Halo 4 and me recording it with him, uh, it's just really fun. You know what I mean? It's, it's really fun to do that. And even though I will personally, uh, you know, record Halo by myself if need be, if, the, if time starts running out, it's just a fun experience to do that with him. So that's what I like to do. Number 13 is what do you do when you're upset? And I think it, it definitely like depends on what kind of upset we're talking about. If I'm sad... I just kind of throw myself into Netflix or any sort of show, to be perfectly honest, because I don't, if I'm sad about something, I try to escape the reality that I'm in, so to speak. I don't try to like just drown it out because that's kind of unhealthy, but you know, I just, I, I try to just take my mind off of it. You know what I mean? I think that's what everybody really does. There was a moment in time, uh, it was a moment in my life, like I think two, maybe three, four months ago where I just, I, I wasn't really you know, I wasn't really happy, you know, I was, I was in a, another job that I really wasn't enjoying and, you know, I, I love my dog, right? And I know this, not, this is this nothing to do with it yet. I'm going to, I'm going to piece things together, people. Just give me a moment. But so, you know, so I was with my dog laying on the bed, just chilling, watching Naruto, right? At this point, I'm like halfway through the show, watching it on some other website. It's not even in English, but I didn't care. Like I, I was, I was enjoying myself, you know what I mean? And, and, um, it was, it always really got me down in the dumps. And I was like, when I was upset and I was feeling down, I was like, oh, now I got to get up and go to work, which, you know, of course it had, to, it had to be done, but you know, I, I would have rather just sat there, chilled with my dog, you know, just pet his head and everything and watch Naruto and chill, man, watch these freaking ninjas take each other out. Like that was the life. And, and that's kind of what I do when I'm sad. I just kind of put myself in another reality when I'm angry. Um, I gotta, I gotta admit, I let things go pretty easily. I mean, I can be angry, but I kind of let things go almost immediately because I know that anger for me puts me in a really like bad place. Like I don't like to be there long because, uh, I just, I can't be happy when I'm angry. I know that sounds pretty obvious, but like, you know, obviously me wanting to record videos and everything. Um, you know, it's, you have to enjoy yourself and if you're angry, you know, you're probably not going to enjoy yourself. So that's definitely one of the things that, um, I try to just let roll off my shoulders. Anger isn't something that necessarily needs to be there. It's just like, it's like an impulse emotion. And so if you can learn to conquer that and not really, you know, cause anger, sadness is hard to conquer, I think, but you know, anger is something that you can definitely learn to kind of, um, you know, keep under wraps, so to speak, and, and kind of, you know, dampen in terms of, you know, how angry you can actually get. You can just blow your lid or you can really kind of try to reel it back a little bit and be a bit, a bit tame with your anger. And sometimes again, like I, I've kind of developed an ability to just kind of let it roll off after a certain amount of time. It doesn't happen right away, but you know, I, I don't really, I'm not really one to hold grudges. So if for me, for, for, uh, for when I'm upset, when I'm angry, I just kind of let it go. It's, it's, it's really boring, but that's just kind of what happens. Um, number 14 is, do you believe in ghosts slash aliens? I do believe in both first and foremost. Um, and, uh, I just, I, I really think that, that aliens, I'm not, I'm not like some, you know, massive, uh, you know, you know, researcher about it where I, I really believe in like everything. And I try to research all these other things and I'm really interested in it, but I do believe that, in the entirety of our universe, there's no way at all that we could possibly be 
alone. I mean, the universe is so big that we can't even see that far. You know what I mean? That's ridiculous. Uh, I'm not saying our technology is like amazing, but it's pretty darn good. And if we can't even see that far, that's, that's saying something, man. Uh, that, that really is saying something. And so I think this question is better, you know, contained within our galaxy because there's so, there's so much of the universe that it would really be kind of impossible unless you consider the possibility of wormholes, which is theoretical at this moment in time, um, whether or not uh, an advanced civilization could actually get to us. I mean, it would take tens, if not hundreds of thousands of years to actually reach Earth. Uh, in some cases, just in our own galaxy, let alone another galaxy somewhere in the universe. So unless they're utilizing some sort of advanced technology of travel, like like wormholes or something like that, that we may, maybe have not discovered yet, um, you know, of course, you, that, that's that's how I feel. That's, that's how I feel about it. Like within our own galaxy, even if we're like 0.01% or 0.001% um, of, of our galaxy contains intelligent life, that's probably about five to 10 intelligent species out there just in this galaxy alone. Um, you know, some, something like that. I, I'm not, I'm just throwing a rough estimate out there, but you know, I think it's more plausible that a species could visit us from our own galaxy, but I don't necessarily think it's likely, um, even though there's stuff happening already. Um, but th they, they may be fairly close. We don't know how close these freaking dudes are, man. They could, I mean, life was found on Mars very recently, or at least running water anyway. And um, I find that, or I don't know if it's running, I don't know if it's running water, but they've confirmed that water was on Mars. And um, so, so I find that really compelling that, you know, if life can exist that close and may not want to be discovered. You know what I mean? If they're intelligent, I'm sure they know how to hide. It's pretty, it's a pretty rudimentary tactic is knowing how to hide. Uh, especially if you're an advanced civilization with like freaking cloaking devices and crap. But, um, you know, that's just how I feel about it. They may be closer than we'd ever, ever have imagined, but, uh, that, that's how I feel about those, uh, ghosts. I definitely believe in that. I a hundred percent believe in the supernatural. Uh, and there was something I was going to do for like a Halloween special where I went to a, and I was going to do this last year too, but I think it's more feasible to do it this year, even though I don't have the best equipment. Cause I don't think I would, I don't really have the best equipment to do that particular kind of stuff. And so I don't know how good of a, you know, session it would be, you know what I mean? A recording session, but basically what I would do, I was going to do was I was going to go to this local, um, asylum. I think it's an asylum. It's something, it's somewhere where people were sick or where they, they were insane and they were kept and naturally bad things happened, especially with the, the treatment of those kind of people, um, you know, in the early stages of, 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 uh, you know, like, you know, I guess medicine, you could say, um, and so, you know, bad stuff happened. People obviously died there and, uh, you know, so I, it, it's supposed to be very haunted, like really, really haunted and it really active as well. And I was going to go there, um, and try to record some stuff, try to document some stuff. You know, I've watched a lot of things on this and I feel like I could do a, a fairly professional job just with the equipment that I have, you know, try to get some audio recordings, get some video recordings. I don't really have night vision stuff that I could use to, um, see in the dark, although I probably wouldn't want to turn my flashlight off anyway. That seems like a really bad idea, but I, I, I was, I wanted to do that kind of like a Halloween special. I thought it would be really interesting. I'd always, I'd always thought it would be interesting to participate in such a thing. And so that's really how I was, uh, that's what I was going to do. So maybe you guys would be interested in it. If enough of you guys are, you know, down for that idea, maybe I'll go anyway. But at this current time, I don't think my equipment's good enough to capture anything meaningful. I'd probably just go there, feel some stuff, say, oh my God, did you feel that? Or, or, or you know, I just got touched or something. You guys would be like, yeah, right. No way. You know, it's, 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 it's much better to get audio recordings, video recordings or whatever it might, or whatever like that. So, um, you know, that's basically all I have to say on number 13. Now, number 14 is, do you, uh, oh, I'm sorry. That was number 14. <laughs> number 15 is, uh, my likes or dislikes about YouTube. You know, I, I really like YouTube, especially uh, people will say that, you know, I probably started at a really bad time because it's really difficult nowadays to, uh, I guess kind of be, you know, be successful with this, but I think I started at a pretty good time. I mean, I like the features. They really updated their, their, their website and software. Uh, you know, there's a lot more features to make it more interactive and, and make it more personal, which I really personally like, make it more personal between the viewer and the content creator. And that's something that means a lot to me because I love, you know, reading and interacting with you guys. That's something that's, that's one of the key things I like about doing this. Um, and, you know, they, again, there's more features on the website. There's more support. There's more stability. Uh, you know, they sometimes they go into weird changes that people don't like. But for the most part, I think the changes are positive. The additions are positive and good. And so, 
you know, that's that's all well and good there. But in terms of dislikes, there's very small things that could easily be fi fixed with software tweaks. Uh, one of the things, for example, will, would be, you know, uh, the fact that thumbnails don't always get updated if you if you upload the thumbnail a little bit late, which is sometimes why my videos are a bit delayed simply because, you know, the thumbnail is, you know, I know that if I if I upload it, and I take a while doing my thumbnail. Uh, it, it may not get updated and it'll just be like a blank little square that's you know like a default image from the video and that to me isn't acceptable but um you know maybe that's one thing and another thing is like sometimes it glitches out when you're uploading and you know normally it takes like three four minutes for me to upload it and then it takes about you know five to eight minutes to process or whatever fairly quick you know i mean really reasonable and and uh, you know all that stuff but Sometimes, uh, rarely it'll be like, oh, your, your video will be posted in 200 minutes or something. And I'm like, no, it won't. That is hundred percent unacceptable. And so like, I'll have to go back and, you know, sometimes reset my computer. Cause it's just, it glitches out. You know what I mean? It's something with their servers or whatever. I don't know, but it, you know, it's, just, it's crazy. Like, I don't like that stuff. But other than that, really small annoyances, nothing really crazy or, or too, terrible like that um but again i think i joined at a pretty good time with youtube because you know youtube again all the features all the support all the in, uh, interactiveness that they've added and, and really they really made it good for the content creator and the, and, the, and the viewer to interact with each other and again some people might not like that but i personally really enjoy that and they uh added youtube gaming so youtube now has a streaming service that you know is it's you know they, they they're you know competing against switch now and i think you know i again this is kind of something i haven't said but i've really been considering going from Twitch to YouTube only because I feel like it would be more convenient and nice to do everything via one platform. And that's the only reason I like Twitch. Twitch is great. It's got a lot more things that, uh, you know, it's got a lot more features, uh, a lot more plugins work with it over YouTube. And so that's awesome. Um, I'm sure that those other plugins and those supports will work for YouTube gaming eventually. But, uh, the, the only reason really would be because I'm not really established on Twitch. I, it's not like I, I get paid from Twitch or that I have a sponsorship with them or that, you know, I've got, re I do have regular viewers that sh follow me on Twitch. I have quite a bit of them as a matter of fact. Um, but uh, you know, it's nothing like, it's not like I've got thousands upon thousands of people watching me and it's like switching from Twitch to YouTube would be, you know, media suicide or something like that. But you know, either way, that's how I'm feeling about that. Those are the many questions that I wanted to do for you guys. I know this video went on a little bit long. Uh, once again, I do want to stress, uh, going and checking out Mr. Meerkat's channel. He's an awesome YouTuber, really great guy. And I, I'm going to leave a little bit of a clip, a little snippet, about a minute, minute and a half at the end of this, that basically just showcases, um, you know, pretty much the fun times me and him had doing our first Minecraft session, as well as a few, uh, you know, mini things as, as well. So, uh, you'll have to let me know what you think about that. Go check him out again. His thing will be on the video right here, as well as in the description. Um, and other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little mini Q and a, of course, the main Q and a will be coming in a week and a half to two weeks time. Uh, but until then guys rate the video, what you think it deserved. And if you did enjoy, consider sharing the video as well. If you want to become a sage in training, make sure you subscribe today. And as always, this has been Mr. Bayzy, your favorite sage. And I'll see you in the next video. Japan underwear. It's really tight. I don't think this is good. Here. Um, yes. Yeah, go down. Oh, ow, 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 it's hurting hurry me. Up. It's hitting my head. Mr. BC. Oh, yeah, this isn't good. This is not going to end well for us. Okay. <laughs> I'm stuck on you. Hey, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> oh, my God. We're stuck in the air. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, wait. Don't no, just... going now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, no, I'm ahead. What of... happened? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Come on! Here, you can have um, this strip pole, or this strip pole, or this strip pole. Oh, how this. generous. I can I have my choice. I can have my one. choice between any of these fine strip poles. <laughs> you know, are there any ones, any, are there any other strip poles that won't give me splinters when I do my moves? No. Damn. Me, did, I take your Did you wash your stuff. hands? Where's the bathroom? I washed them. I don't believe you. Yep. <laughs> Just no. walk away. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> What? Do you hear that? No. Yo, there was like a straight T-Rex in the background. Tell me you did not hear that. Hold on. Uh, there might be a gas somewhere. Are you kidding? So there's these things in the nether. Did, did it sound like a baby? No, it was like... So a baby. What? This, 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 what kind of baby you've been listening to? Giant. So do you want this stripper pole, this stripper pole, or these hooks? I'd like this extra tall stool, please. <laughs> 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 you're like, you're like, you're like, <laughs> you're like 10 feet above the table. Modge, could you, you hand me the butter? <laughs> <laughs>
This I can't seem to reach bowl. from this stool. Uh, Why'd you buy the stool? I don't know, Marge. I just felt like I wanted the damn stool, okay? Oh, baby. Yo, could you imagine the people that like own these houses or those buildings? What if the what if the thing de like dislodged and just went right through the window? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, Jerry? There seems to be a car in my soup. <laughs> There's a train car in my soup. Someone get the manager. It's my birthday. Ew, oh, dude, uh, turn around. It's my birthday. You're like, you're like crouching, dude. <laughs> Fucking nastiest kid ever. It's my birthday today. <laughs> oh, well, man. Yeah, I, thought, yeah, I thought you just might want to see this. Yeah, this was you cool, but that this, just shit uh, my britches, man. The beginning of a video. This was cool, though. You can make this just a random beginning of the video. You might want to cut out me saying that, because I'm going to be this. <laughs> <laughs>